Hi, it's me. Uh, it is, let's see, it is 11.04 and I'm sitting here at a red light. I just did uh, 16 hours at the hospital. I um, did my 12-hour shift like normal and then I forgot that we had a 4-hour staff meeting after. So uh, I went and did that. So 16 hours later, I'm famished and exhausted. And that's normally when you make the horrible food choices that I really would like to make right now. Like going to McDonald's and getting a quarter pounder with cheese with large fries and a chocolate shake. Ugh, want it so bad. And I was really glad that I packed myself a little lunch or a little breakfast. I had um, three points worth of skim milk and three points of honey nut Cheerios and a banana. And what else did I have? Oh, I had half of a biscuit, which is three points because they were so good and they provided them at our staff meeting. And our hospital makes really good biscuits. Oop, so, might change, time to go. Um, so I had half of a biscuit because I couldn't resist and I made the girl that was sitting across from me uh, eat it. So I, um, it's still kind of early, at least for me, for lunch. So I'm gonna stop by the grocery store and grab some grapes I am fresh out. I think I told you that yesterday. Did I? I don't know. And I'm fighting the urge to make really bad food decisions. Um, I'm going to be successful. And I am actually kind of looking forward to weigh in on Thursday. That's the day that I always weigh in. And it's kind of weird that I'm looking forward to it. Because the last two weeks, like two weeks ago, I had a little gain. I, I gained half a pound. Um, which sucks, but I know that it's part of it, and I kind of chalk it up to um, just eating a lot of sodium. And then last week, I didn't gain or lose a single pound, which was really frustrating. I was like, I even went to the gym, and it, just, it really pissed me off. Um, look, another red light. Check out this journey that we're on. I'm actually um, on my way to, like I said, to the grocery store fight the urge to get something bad, and I'm actually going to go visit a friend. I was supposed to have coffee with her this morning, but I'd forgotten about um, this freaking staff meeting. Um, so, you want to take a tour of my car, my messy, messy car? I um, have my, from nursing school, 2010 tassel, and I normally have, here you go, my stethoscope hanging around here, and, oops, the light's green, let's turn around, um, my car is normally messy, I've got shoes down there, I had Chipotle, because that's what I had for dinner, 13 points, a lot of points I know, but it was so yummy, and I really wanted it, so I had it, and I had the point allotment, so, um, I didn't really feel that bad about it. And um, I get double chicken on my Chipotle, which I don't know if you know what Chipotle is. I don't know if you have that where you're from. But um, what it is, it's all organically grown stuff, and it's like you make your own burrito. But I always get the burrito bowl because the uh, um, burrito itself is like, I think, five Weight Watchers points plus. Um, and, and it's just really good. I get um, rice with cilantro and... I get hot sauce and I get uh, chicken. And I nor normally get the double chicken because it makes me more full for longer. And, oh, come on, car. And I love it. So um, that's kind of like one of my go to things when I have the point allotments for dinner because it's so tasty and it's so filling. Um, and so I had that last night before I went, and that was well over 12 hours ago, well over 16 hours ago, actually, because I ate about 5 o'clock on my way to work, 5, five o'clock, 6 o'clock, so, um, it was really good, oh, I'm thinking about it, oh, don't think about it, don't think about it, because I'm so hungry, um, and I wish the Safeway was open. Oh, you can't see it. It says coming soon.
than you think when. But it's just not soon enough for me. So, um, I just wanted to make a little vlog, say hello. Um, I hope everything is doing good for you. Um, and I want to know about, about what you guys do when you have to sit in a meeting or an unexpected something comes up. What do you, do you guys keep anything like in your purse or in your bag or whatever you carry around? Um, ooh, I'll show you my bag that uh, my fiance got me this summer for Christmas. It's so nice. It's really big and it's, we got it from the coach outlet. And I'm not like a purse snob at all, really. Um, but this is just a big, beautiful bag. And I like coach because if anything breaks on it, they'll fix it. And hold on, I've got to get over and not get hit by this bus or whatever. Here, but here, look at my purse really quick. See, it's a huge, like, sits on my entire seat. Like, it's ginormous. And I love it. So, but, I'm getting ready to go into the store. I want to make a quick little vlog to say hello and um, tell me about what you keep in your purse so that I can know and maybe keep it in my purse. And, oh, I'll show you the Luna Bar that I always keep in my purse, just in case it's five points. So yummy. If you haven't, haven't tried the Luna Bar, you really need to. They actually, I think just, or I just discovered the other day that they have, um, here, let's look. For it together, that Luna Bars, here it is, that they make, um, they make, sorry, I'm like getting, making you seasick. They actually make bars that are s'mores. So I really want to try it. If you've tried it, let me know. But this is the Luna Bar that I normally keep in my purse, just in case, for emergencies. Lemon zest. It's really yummy. You should try it. Tell me about what you keep in your bag, your purse, or whatever, in your car for emergencies. I'd love to hear about it. And I hope that you are doing well, that you're happy and healthy, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Alright, now I just have to turn it off without crashing the car. Uh.